Welcome back, Cedars. You're here with uh, Jelly Joe and Joe Chill. So welcome to Live on Patrol. Today is, what is today, Wednesday. It's about 1, 10 after 1 o'clock. Sun is out. And uh, bear with me for a second. Back seaters. So happy to have you here. Like I said, this is my name is Jelly Joe. With Welcome. The Ramsey County Sheriff's Office, St. Paul, Minnesota. Currently on the, uh, I wouldn't say east side, we're like in central, we're at Phelan and Olive in the city of St. Paul. A lot of action this morning. I'm looking for a robbery suspect that's in a stolen car, been involved in a couple of robberies in the metro area, so be on the lookout for that. And we're going to check some. Hot spot areas. Look for some stolen cars here. Let's see what we can find. It's been pretty active. But yeah, I'm very excited, folks. It's been a while since you guys have seen the uh, had the pleasure of Jelly Joe. I know you get Mondays with uh, Mighty Mike and Wednesdays with uh, usually the Cat Team. Somebody from the Cat Team. And they've been doing a good job uh, curtailing. Uh, Jelly Joe Crime? was thrilled to come out today. He, oh, this is, he wanted to so bad. I am chomping at the bit here. I, I feel like The Rock coming back for like a WWE main you event match here. I mean, this is this is uh, pretty climatic here. I mean, I am excited. We're glad to have you. Oh well, thank you. So what else we got? What uh, pretty busy week. Yeah, it's been busy. Um, stolens are still picking up. Um, we're getting into that time of year where people are leaving their cars run, so just be aware. Don't uh, leave your keys in your car. It'll warm up, and um, it is getting a little colder out, but try to uh, not leave your car run anywhere. Very well put, and I'm probably guilty of that myself. It's, you know, you're in Minnesota in the wintertime, and it's pretty convenient easy just to start your car and let it run and warm up and get the heat cranking but that's like Joe was just saying that happens a lot uh, all over not just St. Paul where cars are stolen and and it is a crime believe it or not to, to do that but um, so so we are currently not on the east side of St. Paul and are going to be heading northbound on Payne. It's a nice day. Very nice day. Rained for a little bit earlier. 56 degrees outside. 56. Not quite Florida weather here, folks, but... Uh, Tell you what, in late October in Minnesota, if it's 56 and sunny, we're gonna take that. Absolutely. Leaves are changing. Medics are starting to 2785 Light Bear Suite 201 on a 27 year old who's light headed and dizzy after dialysis at 1313. Hamlin North on a DOC male threatened caller kicked in the door refusing to leave. Wayne McGriff, black male 42, then building a gray sweater and black pants. Yeah, someone's mentioning uh, snowmobiles. Well, that's a little bit early. I, I kind of like least like to wait a little bit before we start getting snowfall. I like snow and some winter activities, but I can hold off just for a little bit longer. It seemed like last year took forever for the snow to melt. And last year, by the end of the year, I was ready for spring. Three, three, four. I want to hit that new button for a second.
Sorry about that. I'm gonna mute you real quick. We're gonna try to get over and uh, look for someone just dumped a stolen vehicle. Fourteen hundred Energy Park Drive, Suite Twenty One. Again, folks, if you just join us here on a live on patrol, you have the pleasure of uh, Deputy Joe Kill of the CAT team and Jelly Joe of uh, Intel and Slash, I guess, part of the CAT team. Um, we work for the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office, uh, currently in the city of St. Paul on the east side. We're looking to check in the area for a uh, stolen car that may have been dumped. Currently uh, southbound on Arcade, I believe. Yes, we are. Arcade and Jinx. So what else we got here? Let's see. Tornado season? No, that's pretty much over here in Minnesota. Maybe wherever that person's from, but four four five two. I'll be on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, busy week so far. Today's Wednesday. Eight Got some robbery suspects that have been or at least one active in the West Metro and involving a stolen car that we're looking for, and um, some of our known juveniles are active and stolen cars which is par for the course and not unusual but we've done a pretty good job of uh getting staying on top of uh the juvenile auto theft uh here on the this side of the river for the most part we recovered a carjacked vehicle out of minneapolis earlier today as well no oh, that's right I think it was Fabio Joe that got that one, right? Fabio got it. Yeah. Unoccupied, but uh, it was involved in a carjacking. And so, and typically, um, even though it's just unoccupied, it takes some time to recover because a lot of times there's holds on those vehicles for DNA and latent fingerprints. And so the original agency where the carjacking, which I believe was Minneapolis, they have to come out and either process it or... Um, or tow it to their lot, or so it takes some extra time on some of those. Yeah, it took a while for for them to get out there today. But usually, uh, that used to be a Jelly Joe uh, specialty. He likes uh, sitting on toes or doing the transports. He likes doing the easy stuff. <laughs> the cat guys get in all the action. I'm just along for the ride. Now you've been you've been with them plenty. Oh well, thank you. I did, now I feel yeah, a lot better. Traffic control. Right now. Traffic control. You were on some of our uh, best chases, the one that uh, went all around the airport. And... Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that one. I think we followed the wrong. Clear 1400. We were just playing follow the leader, and then that person took the wrong turn, and we went around the airport. So shall remain remain nameless who that individual <laughs> was, but. Yeah, hopefully we'll find something. I do want to stop by one of our uh, local addresses and 
one of our juveniles had court this morning for a firearm case and he's probably watching so Call yesterday for a stolen cell phone here on Beecher Margaret, or maybe they were trying to track one down on this block. I'm trying to find the original factor report. You know about the time. Code 4 now. Well, for the recovery? Yeah. Do they find it? Yeah. Bravo's close on your thing. Just as a friendly reminder, folks, um, we have no control. I know Bob and Pat say this all the time. If, if it freezes up or glitches, we don't even know when it's doing that. We have no control um, over that. So we do apologize, but that's, there's, there's nothing we can do if it freezes. Oh, that's right. So somebody just, um, if you're watching the news uh, last night, uh, we had one of our Deputies Thomas, actually Sergeant Thomas Siegelstrom was on the news. Um, he had WCCO ride along with him uh, a few weeks ago, and I think they were out with a carjacked vehicle and a stolen car, and they had the WCCO uh, folks with them that day. And we got two of the four. I was out there that yep, day. Yep, two arrests were made in that incident, and it just aired yesterday on WCCO. So, congratulations to our uh, sergeant. Uh, Seagull's from does fine work. Currently on the east side here, we're on Mini Haha, heading eastbound, right by the uh, post office. And my favorite place growing up is going to be on your right hand side. It's Up enough. Check that out. I think about it. Did they have everything like subs and stuff? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, your uh, Italian hamburgers or um, you know, they had hot dogs, uh, Italian beef. Good stuff. French fries. Onion rings. It was there for years. Four four three Lafayette. Outside the labor industry is wearing a blue hoodie, having mental health issues. You can still get there from Third Street. Chill, or AKA Joe Chill. He's always a crowd favorite with the back seaters. Welcome, welcome. I can't, I can't recall. Yeah. 57 degrees. 57 degrees. It is sunny. Does such a great job of, uh, I can't remember the population. It's got to be, Mike will give you the exact um, 307 or something. He'll give you the exact amount. <laughs> <laughs> So 
we're gonna roll by Harding High School just kind of there's been some activity not today but the last couple weeks with kids and juveniles fighting and whatnot and so we're just gonna kind of roll by to see if everything looks looks okay on their end a lot of times there's been a lot of uptick with school yeah, fights sorry, and sorry. whatnot and um, a lot of times school gets out and okay. then after the school gets out there's like a continuation or escalation of a fight occurring on or near you know neighborhoods that are surrounding the school and so it's right here on your right hand side it's a nice football field. Looks new. Football seems to an end right now, isn't it? It is. I, I can't remember. I don't think playoffs either are starting or just started and I think they go all the way up until like I think like Thanksgiving time is when they at the uh, early play now at the US Bank Stadium or because football is kind of a different they have uh, like eight different classes like the class double A class 4A it's not like hockey where you just have two class A and double A so there's like I think there's even nine man or nine person football and so there's a bunch of different football classes that compete and they have to schedule them all in so I think it's around like Thanksgiving time is when it finally wraps up and then uh, high school hockey season starts up yeah that's coming up soon yeah That's right, this week is uh, MEA week, so I think the kids are, is today the last day or? I think some schools, some schools have today and some schools have starting tomorrow. So yeah, they get uh, Thursday, Friday off for MEA. What does that stand for? Minnesota Education Something. Associate, I don't know. We're going to go with that. Anyway, they're off. Hey, Josh. I know where we could go. Minnesota Education Association. That was close. You got something? Excuse me, another time to look at you. No. Thank you. Get a message. Copy. Get a message. Copy. 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 One of the backseaters tell you? Oh, wait. Yeah. I'll start to that. I think I see. What else we got? Copy, this is Roger. This is 2650, prior circle, and Arsenal for the callers. Son, who is out of the Anything control. Anything pending? That's a Copy. 13 Copy. 1366, I'll be clear traffic. Uh, all one, same. Excited. Looks like they're cleaning the streets already. Okay, Street cleaner. Copy. 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 Is this 1300 Wilson? The high rise? Yeah. It's been a while since we've had something in here. 
couple of our cars out here. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully we can find something. Besides, though, he's kind of, he can be spotty. So the phone call request for harassment, 2730 Virginia. Shoot. Central here after this. 1332. clears it up. Do apologize folks if it is freezing but again there's nothing nothing we can do I'm gonna go with solar flares or just dead spots in the city of St. Paul I guess Bruce is out with a party who hit that appliance you want to respond it's working now on the left. Gonna be hit or miss. Stream is good. Well, that's good. Metro 328 clarification. Go ahead. Sorry, I misunderstood. It's the people who lost it. Should we just have to pick it up from there? Yeah, right now we're in the uh, Battle Creek area. This is always kind of one of my favorites. Um, it's a lot of uh, trees and greenery, and it's really pretty with all the more of a yard with the leaves and the yard. It's just kind of a nice little area um, this time of the year with the way the leaves and so. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it probably doesn't do it justice if you're here in person. And there's a lot of nice parks down in this Battle Creek area. Just got a text. We have lots of fans that are watching today. Let's well, that's good. What else we got? We got twins are out of the baseball. Uh, who did they used to do? The Astros. Yeah. So the twins are out. So I haven't really been watching or paying attention too much um, of the baseball playoffs. But we got the Minnesota Wild that just started. Up. For all our Wild fans, and they just played last night. Pretty good game. Pretty rough. Lots of fights. Yeah, I did hear that. Press 
Um, nice area, lots of parks. If you're just joining us, um, fairly quiet area down here. Battle Creek School here on the left. fans from Florida watching. If you guys know Jelly Joe, that's his favorite place in Florida, especially this time of the year. South Florida, that is. It should start to be cooling down now, shouldn't it? Well, it does, but if you're in the Fort Myers, Miami Beach, Key Largo, Key West, it doesn't get dipped much past the 75. Report. What do you think of that one? Copy for an audible alarm covering the main door. 2451 15th Street Northwest, 1330. Day. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, yeah, I was watching the news this morning before work and they were mentioned rain, but I guess it rained a little bit, but all the sun's out. And nice day. Currently, on uh, well, we're, we're, we're on McKnight, which borders Maplewood now. We're in rear. Uh, we're going to be making a left, but we're going right. We're going to be heading southbound on McKnight. McKnight runs from what Cottage Grove all the way to White Bear. Uh, so it dead ends or at Port? yeah. So it dead ends at uh, Carver Avenue. Maplewood there, and it does go all the way up to like White Bear. I think it dead ends at the lake there, doesn't it? The White Bear Lake? Six yeah, nine. At uh, Salt Shore. Yeah. Working up one of the edge of Thomas. It's a long stretch. 13, 39. Some nice parks right here. Have we have security door. Yeah, we just I mentioned that one earlier. There's a, it's a beautiful park there. Dog park. Water park that's park now closed, but for season. But. Has a mental health for crisis. I mean, a clan on holes, to so on one side you have Maplewood on your left, 
which would be the east burn side, and the right side was the St. Paul side. So McKnight borders Maplewood and St. Paul down here. Find one. I think we can do it. The ways have been active, I think. Probation 958. Go ahead. Clear 1400 Energy Park Drive. 1341. That's black in color, has a partial set for five plate. North 35E from the Cayuga. Brake check in is swerving all over the lane. Black bends all over. North 35E from the Cayuga. It's 1341. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I just saw something on my uh, a funny email I got here. There's gotta be something in this lot. Forward to university call. Why is this a P2? Is there a weapons involved or something that's not in the call comments? Looks like medics are en route. New message. New we do not have a hold for this party, is that New correct? Message. The client has not been advised yet of the hold. It looks like Crisis is trying to place the hold on them. I'm gonna take a look at this car quick. Right then. Just to see. <coughs> um, so Joel kills currently out of the car. We're gonna we're gonna check the VIN and check the rear plate on one of these cars in a lot here, just to double check to see if it's coming back clear or stolen for that matter. It's clear. Clear. If you backseaters watch, um, Nicole Sparks does that quite a bit. Um, she'll check the vent because a lot of times people in stolen cars, they switch plates or the plate doesn't match or they put a plate on a car that's very, very similar, almost identical in, you know, same year, same make, same model, but um, different plates, of course, so then we'll check the VIN. The VIN is the uh, vehicle identification number and it's, I think it's in three places on the car. One is the the dash area. I think there's multiple spots in every car. There's a lot of hidden spots just for that reason that only the manufacturer knows where they're at. Yeah. But I think there's three that are known visible. Correct. Um, some of your more organized, uh, highly organized, do a lot of that. It's called VIN swapping. And, um, I know it's big out east. Um, you know, just, I'm not talking just Minnesota nationally. It's pretty big out east. They put them in shipping containers and they ship high-end cars um, overseas. And there was a big organized crime thing with. Uh, we don't really see it. It's here, but we don't really deal with it as much. Gibson is banging on the caller's door to get in. This is supposed to be on the property. Caller's door is locked and does not. The subject doesn't have a key. We'll shoot over the other side. We have to do it. Thank you, car's going a little fast.
hurry. heading northbound and we're going to be coming up to like the uh, Burns and Upper Afton and 94 interchange here. Still go in them? Yes. Yeah. They've been around forever, huh? You know they have, and I don't remember ever really playing in those caves, but uh, I did play in uh, sewers, uh, creeks, and water sewers. Which, looking back, was incredibly stupid. And <laughs> luckily, we're still here to tell that story. But um, yeah. Do not play in sewers, kids, or, or backseaters for that matter. Information for cars, medics are going to be in route to 401 University. It's going to be at the westbound platform. Again, transit police are going to be in route as well as our medics for a domestic assault with a female with a busted up lip and a hurt knee. Suspect is believed to be in the area. Info at 1348. And for those that are just joining us again here, um, my name is uh, Deputy Joe Miller, AKA Jelly Joe. We got another Joe with us, Joe Kill of the CAT team. I work in the Intel unit. I'm just riding along today. Um, we work for the Ranty County Sheriff's Office. Our office is in downtown St. Paul. And uh, it's uh, 57 and sunny on a Wednesday afternoon here in the city of St. Paul. The capital city. Capital city. They're gonna fix all this. This has been going on for a while too. This can construction. Just a mess. I'll probably shut down for winter. Yeah, it's. I know Minnesota is always big on construction, but this particular year, at least around where I'm at, is every 61 uh, everywhere. Westbound, just passing Mounds Boulevard. Now, remember that time? Uh, I think it was a, a, diff a different agency. Uh, I don't know if it was State Patrol. They were chasing a car, pursuit. They lost sight of it, and they said, "Yeah, he got off on exit something two three something." Like what? What is that? Well, what they meant was Mounds Boulevard, but nobody, yeah. nobody. Calls of that, but 
Like what exit? Yes, hit the mile marker. Mile marker 70 means nothing to me. Currently uh, on Marion Street now in the city of St. Paul, the central district of St. Paul. We're going to be heading towards University Avenue, I believe. Right by the uh, Capitol or Cathedral. Actually, both. But... University of Marion. A female neighbor started back up screaming and yelling. We're right by the uh, McDonald's, and a little fun fact of people from the city of St. Paul that are watching. So that McDonald's used to be a bank. I don't remember if it was First National Bank, but so years ago it was a McDonald's, and then they converted it into a, uh, a bank. And it's been McDonald's for for years, but anyway, a little fun fact for our backseaters that are from the area. Yeah, I'm not quite as good as uh, Pat and Bob with the history of St. Paul, but I do, uh, I'll give them a run for their money. Yeah, you will. You know quite a bit about St. Paul. Well, I pretend I do. As you're Googling it right now? Yeah, you got Google. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know that. In uni, there was just a shooting here, what, last week? Some lady got shot in the mud arms? Yes, it was non, non fatal. Yeah, I think that was last, uh, yeah, sometime last week, but. There's been a couple of shooting incidences. Um, I think one made the news with Oakland Cemetery 
which is um, kind of by Hoover's Pub there at Jackson and right by that cemetery, the Oakland Cemetery. Actually, it was a cemetery, but uh, I think they were there for a uh, memorial, and thankfully that one too was non-fatal, but um, yeah, it's just... Uh, there guys. Nice chat. Hey, we can say hello to him. <laughs> uh, some of our friends uh, that are well known to the Cat and Intel unit were just walking on the right street there. We don't have any gift cards, but we did honk the horn and say hello. We're very familiar. They, they all know us. Yeah. They know we got a job to do for the most part, so they're... For the most part, they treat us with some respect. They're usually pretty respectful. 7 I was going to say bike, 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 but he went the other way. Anyway, yeah, there's been an uptick with uh, shootings, and fortunately, most have been non-fatal, but there's been, uh, I don't know how many homicides we're at, 28, which is still too many, but um, so hopefully um, with this, uh, the shootings uh, stop. Yeah, way too many.
Rice and Sycamore. Heading northbound. Right now it's been fairly quiet uh, since we've been out, but uh, hopefully we'll find uh, 16, some action or a stolen car before uh, we end the live on patrol here. Right. Quiet. Yeah. Not a lot going on citywide. That's normally a good thing. It is. Don't get me wrong, but I think our back seaters would appreciate something. Medics, 1415 Holman Avenue. It's going to be in room 355. They're in rough for a 74 year old female, conscious of breathing, having a behavioral episode. Say that she is violent or has the potential to be violent. efficient guys in the back and picks them up and we're gonna have to even leave the trailer. <laughs> Off they go. Mama's Pizza there on the right. Is that, is that back open or is that still just takeout only? I don't know. I know during COVID they had it where it was, they were operational, but it was takeout. And so I don't think you can sit down there anymore, but maybe one of the back seaters knows. I've never eaten there. Oh, you're missing out. Yeah, it does say open, but it's been a while since I've been there. And like I said, yeah, it was takeout only for the longest time. Five to back, 3673 Lexington, um, Arden Hills for. Yeah. We are currently northbound on Rice Street. 
coming up to, uh, what Happy is this, Maryland? Geranium. Geranium. Then Maryland. 26 to I'm sure. 6 to will be okay with me. Putting this medical back in that thing or having them in the second to the flight. Good phone for us. There's a Florida plate that's all different. Thank you. Currently eastbound on Maryland Avenue, still in the uh, central district of St. Paul. Look at this little park here, Sylvan Park. Then we had a little soccer field there. Forty for ninety clear. New message. Forty for ninety clear. Yes, backseaters, we are trying our best here uh, to find something. Um, but again, we just sometimes have no control over, over uh, I guess, crying, which is a good thing. But four, four, five, two. I took that assist. Yes, the uh, Bob and Pat would be would get a kick out of that little guy, that little uh, neon green guy, that ninja red turtle looking guy. There we go. Uh, decorations. I think somewhere off a row was yesterday. There was a place uh, it's off a of case. It's on the east side. I don't know if it's Case and Payne. Somewhere by there. And uh, every year they do uh, Halloween and then uh, Christmas decorations. I think they get the neighbors too. I think Bob and Pat um, went by there a couple times on their lives. and Really neat. I got 50 up here. Traffic Just 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 Yeah, we got Halloween coming up, and then before you know it, it's going to be Thanksgiving, then it's going to be Christmas. Nine eight eight. It goes quick. Then it'll be New Year's, and then before you know it, it'll be uh, State Fair time again. That always seems to sneak up on us. 
You know, I, I, I must say, initially when, uh, so the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office did take over police services for the state fair, I think it was in the year after COVID, was it 2020? Um, and we were kind of, I don't want to say forced to work it, but kind of voluntold. I wasn't overly excited about it, but after working in the state fair the first year, you kind of kind of grew to like it. It was kind of a nice change of pace and different uh, different scenery, and you get to have great food while you're working. And uh, we, we, as we discovered, we see a lot of our kids that we run into on our day-to-day -day operations come out to the fair and get to interact with them. So, um, so overall. I actually enjoy working the state fair. It's a nice change of pace. It's okay, but not every day. I did work all 12 days this year. And by day six, I was kind of regretting committing to some of it. But then uh, day 12 came and it was all over. But you're right. It does drag on, but uh, it goes quick for the most part. And we got to go live at the state fair, I don't know, a couple a couple of times with the backseaters. And we ran into I don't know how many backseaters at the state fair. Which is always nice. Yeah, that was fun. Good time. You know, they get to they get to see the, the cat team and Bob and Pat and we went live on what New York ride? Yes we did. That was I think that was the first opening day, Thursday. Nine twenty seven hundred. Entry I remember we went live and I was in the butterfly hut. I had a butterfly land right on me. <laughs> Pretty fun. Nine twenty seven Metro East Bay. Someone just said it's 68 days till Christmas. Wow. It doesn't seem far away at all. No. Uh, definitely not. Nine twenty seven Metro East Main. Twenty seven. Can I get a toll for stall blocking Hadley and 80th, please? Hadley and 80th, But um, as far as protesting or protests, kind of what's going on, you know, nationally with uh, Israel, the Gaza Strip, and you know, we haven't had uh, knock on wood, and, and thankfully nothing here. I mean, there's been some obviously talk about it, and 
um, but we haven't had any anything um, directly related or credible here that um, what's going on over there. Um, so, you no, know, it's been knock on wood. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a little bit early. Usually when I put my Christmas tree up, uh, it's probably the day after Thanksgiving, if it's, that would be the earliest, but I don't even like seeing Christmas stuff in October in the stores. And uh, like every year it keeps being, you keep seeing stuff sooner and sooner. It's like, we just finished the summer. Like now you got Halloween stuff out, then you got Christmas stuff. Can I, give me a break. And the music, although I don't mind. Some people get irritated by the uh, the holiday music in the stores. I like it. Now, if I worked in the store, it might be a different story. Yeah, that's gonna start playing here soon. Probably right after uh, Halloween. Halloween. currently in the uh, central district of St. Paul. Actually, no, we're on the east side, I'm sorry. We're at Arkwright and Rose. i to get my bearings. But we are close to the central district. But Arkwright, Maryland. 4, 4, 5, 12, yellow to come. Okay. Finally tore that place Yeah, that was like, forever. 3, 3, flat. We out at uh, 1579 right now. 443 Lafayette at the Labor and Industry Office. Red panic alarm, pilot coverage from death. Currently heading eastbound on Maryland, and then um, I think there was a shooting just a couple weeks ago. Um, be up on the left hand side here, Maryland and Edgerton. I think it's called the Chi Town Market. Um, non fatal, though, someone was just. I don't know if they were shot in the thigh or leg or something, but it wasn't uh, non life threatening. Just a couple weeks ago. During the daytime, too, it wasn't like it was late at night. Right here on the left. A lot of little markets. Yes, that's what they, you see a lot of these on the east side of St. Paul. Um, these little bodegas, markets. Well, you know, I just got a text message from a friend and they're saying we're kind of boring, but I agree, we are boring. We're not trying to be. Currently at Payne in Maryland. Gonna be heading south right by the rec center. This rec center is always pretty busy. Yeah, it it's is. good to good to see that though. The kids are doing stuff at the rec center than out doing other stuff that we don't want them doing. This has been closed West for West years. Ferry. 610 Western is the medic man down on the sidewalk in the front of the address. It was an old SA, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I, I want to say that was been, geez, like 20, out in 18, 14, 14, 14, 14, middle school. It's been closed a long time. It's a good trivia question. I think 733, cut out, go again. Can you please put me on an accident property damage at Middle School? Cut out, 
stops for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I had to check my radio to see if it was even on or off. 2350. Copy. So yeah, if you just joined us, we're on the east side of St. Paul. City of St. Paul here. Case and Payne. You have the pleasure of being with the two Joes. Jelly Joe, Deputy Joe Miller, aka either or. And we got Joe Kill, also known as Joe Chill. Welcome. Sorry we're not getting into everything. It's Man, that quite happens. Slow. That does happen. I think Bob and Pat have a script or something. They, they always have a, a, they make it look a lot easier when they're driving around. Maybe Bob's just better at telling stories, I don't know. Maybe Pat is. 50 cars east 13 from 35W Green Honda Odyssey. David Ocean, David 453, all over the place. That's not a blue Odyssey out of Mankato. Yeah, I don't really have any uh, big plans. I know it's MEA weekend. Um, a lot of people are heading out of town. I think they have the youth deer uh, deer hunt, so it'll be a lot of people, a lot of young young uh, adolescent youths in the uh, out hunting this weekend. So I hope everybody stays safe. There's also an educational thing for kids that's kind of. You don't see too many people get involved in hunting, you know, at a young age anymore, like they did years ago. So it's good they have that this youth uh, deer hunt. I think they don't think they need a permit, but they uh, they can take a deer. So I think somebody has to have a valid permit, though. Yeah, I can't remember how that. I th thought you have to have something. It might be free, but you have to get it. I don't remember. I know there'll be a lot of people heading out of town for either the cabins one last weekend or hunting lands and or doing some fun stuff just locally for MEA week here. Makes for a nice long week, weekend. People got to be uh, closing them up. Yeah, I, I know, like our cabin yeah, is... Uh, like a tra traditional old school cabin where it's just seasonal. Pretty much when Labor Day hits, it's kind of buttoned up and shut down for the whole uh, for the season. But a lot of these cabins are 
year round and not even cabins are like homes, lake homes. And, yeah. You know, they got internet and you know, five bedrooms and I'm like, that's not a cabin, that's a, it's a home. I think once people were able to start working from home, everybody started redoing their cabins and homes and up north. Yeah, COVID definitely changed uh, a lot of uh, remote working. People are still working remotely. A lot of employers are okay with it. Like I was just looking at something nationally. Like there's a lot of commercial real estate that's just sitting vacant because they don't need the space anymore. It's people working, you know, laid off or working from home, so they don't need these big buildings anymore. Yeah. So do the Dayton's Bluff area and Right, yeah, the Minnesota Vikings um, play. I think it's a Monday night game, so it'll be against the 49ers. The 49ers, how are they doing this year? Pretty good. I can't remember if they're four and zero or five and zero. Good question. Better than the Vikings. Better than the Vikings. I used to be a lot more uh, into football. I just the last couple of years, I used to be in the fantasy football, and I just haven't uh, watched as much football. Yeah, got my, my Drago back. Yeah, finished up in the morning. Five and one. Dang, they're doing good. And the Vikings are two and four, so me being a bet man, I'm gonna bet on the, the Niners. On the east side of St. Paul by Dayton's Bluff Wreck. Actually, do me a favor when you get a chance. I want to swing around on the other side of Dayton's Bluff. If you, park if you went uh, right by the park, it's called the. I want to show the back seaters. It's called the Red Building.
Roger's call, I can assist. One, three, four, ten, my call, I'll go with the No one's a red building. Soccer, that's good to see. Perfect day for it. Not gonna get too hot. Definitely. Much going on, folks. Oh, We're gonna try and radio's quiet. Everything. Bob and Pip. The word head to the. I'm not even gonna say it. Cause something bad could happen. Oh, I don't know what is this? Ripley and Van Decorations around here. I gotta figure out where that place is that has those, the Halloween decorations with the same as the Christmas time. It's somewhere off a case. I just forget where exactly. Call operator 21. Smart bowl is this week. To find that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Right by Metro State here, folks. Coming up to Mounds. Can I get my cake over there, please? You know, every time I drive by this campus, um, you don't see a lot of, a lot of activity here in these buildings, being a college campus. I wonder if they're doing a lot more online. Well, I'm saying even for years, um, these Metro State, this building that's been here, I never see that much activity around here. But yeah, you're right. Uh, a lot of college campuses and even some for a while, like the high school and it was all online learning. Quiet afternoon. Is there any new movies? Uh, I'm not a big Any movie guy. Like Bob and Pat, but or Bob, but I, I'm not even, I'm not even sure what movies are out. But. Just the barber. Kind of blocking, but not right now. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you what, though, the last movie I saw was um, Super Mario Brothers. I didn't see it in the theater, but that was pretty cool. I liked it. My favorite character for Mario Brothers is Bowser. 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 He's the bad guy, but I like him. <laughs> then Mario. Then Luigi. cycle back there. I know it's a little bit warmer today, but I don't know. I think the bike season's just about done. Is that a guy riding in the rain today? Can't be fun. No, never is. I was told, maybe you know the answer to this question, because so the old Savoys, right? Um, was supposed to be a homeless shelter or place, is what I was told. I, think I heard something fell through, then now it's back on. Do you know the answer to that question? What it is right now? So yeah, it's, 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 it's the old um, Savoy's, and it's, I was told it's gonna be a homeless shelter, then that was put on a hold, and now I was told it's gonna be back to a homeless uh, shelter. I don't know. Or something similar. Really, really we did it though, the whole thing. Yeah, I used to go in there all the time. It was so close to our work here, and um, I remember looking the same way for 10, 15 years. The inside. Good pizza, though. 
show you guys uh, some action but it's just eerily bizarre quiet no way else to explain it so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and always it's always a pleasure to uh, have you guys watch us and be in our backseat look forward to seeing you soon